Hi, welcome back to Kowalski Drones. Today we're going to be looking at the Eosheen M80 ready to fly FPV package. Is it any good? Hi, welcome back. Today we've got the Eosheen M80. So this is your next step up, if you like, from your toy grade little quads you've been flying around. So your 30, 40 quid quad. This is uh, an 80 mil tiny whoops style so in the box this is what comes in the box so you get get the packaging out you get the drone itself you get a controller you get two batteries so these are two 500 milliamp hour high volt batteries see that and then you get the charger. And so the USB charger. Now this comes in a couple of versions. You can also buy this, I believe, without the controller. So I must tell you, this is quite expensive. At the minute, when I've, I've been looking around, these are, these are about £102, which is a lot of money. Now, this is decent. So the quality of this thing is very nice. It's a very nicely finished off. It's it's your typical thing. It looks very much like the King Kong Eight or stuff like that. Um, it's nicely finished off drone. You can adjust your VTX on here and your channels on the top. It comes with its own controller. So the controller has three modes. So you've got angle professional so it's angle then the next level up and then you've got an acro mode it's not true acro i'll try and get another video posted at some point with this but the weather's that bad at the minute it really is something i'd rather fly outdoors but i can't even get anything the weather's that bad at the minute so i'll try and get that video up but so this is what you get so you get the drone and the battery so the controller plugs in and then the battery plugs in here. You get your typical connection on the back. And then you're bound. So there you go, it's bound to the... Now as you can see, it's got quite a bit of woof this. It's not shy on power. Uh, I think it's got the 8520 motors and it's got the beefy battery. So... The controller feels, I have to be honest, cheap. Um, it's not the best feeling controller. The buttons don't feel great, so your mode button change doesn't feel good. None of the buttons actually feel good. So you've got what they call pressure hold, which is like an altitude hold here. So that button is like an altitude hold button. And then you've also got one key return to home, which is this one. And it also flips it inverted if you press that button. So I've obviously had a little fly of this when the weather was better. Um, I'd opened this before. And I have to be honest, I'm not crazy about it. This is alright. So if, if you do this in the bind and fly version, yeah, this is fine. Provided you get it for about 50, 55 quid because it's certainly not as good as the King Kong. In my opinion, it's not as good as the King Kong 8. Um, it's not as good as the uh, Maker Fire stuff out there. There's better about. And the price of this and, and this together are just, well, it, it's just too much money. For me, it is anyway. I think it's overpriced. It's a decent enough little drone, but it just feels toy. This it feels really toy grade. And when I say toy grade, I'm not being disrespectful to toy grade stuff, but it just feels horrible. Look at the amount of plane stuff and look at that. And if you go to the bottom corners, so if I just show you the bottom corners, look, it doesn't come all the way across that side. You have to really snatch it across. And you can see it's just, it's, the resolution's not great and it doesn't feel, you don't feel confident in it. I don't feel, I'm not the best FPV liner, but I don't feel confident enough to fly this around the house with this controller. Now, I believe it also binds to 
other stuff. So I'm going to have a go at binding it to stuck some other stuff and then I'd certainly feel better with it and maybe do an indoor flight footage. But at the minute I just don't feel confident enough to fly it. And like I say, for the money, in my opinion, it's not great. It obviously has, I think it's an 800 TVL camera. And as I say, you can adjust your channels with the buttons on the top. Let's just search. In fact, let's just search it on. It's quicker just to do an auto search on my... On here. So, it's that one, I believe. One of these turns it inverted. Now, why you'd need to do that, I don't know. So that button there, as you can see, inverts your image. Obviously pressed it and held it down too long. The image is quite crisp. There's no on-screen display. And then the other big downside to this is this is not com you cannot configure this on beta flight so what you've got is what you've got it's what it comes out of the box with so it has the flight modes but the flight modes aren't as good it also you see not normally bad with the manuals but this is what you get you get this piece of paper which for a hundred quid it, it, I don't know it just smacks of a bit cheap to be fair it tells you how to bind your receiver to your transmitter if you need to do such a thing and then your flight controls flying the quad landed and it does give you there the transmitter controls they're not the most intuitive they're not th th this description is quite poor of what it does so like I say for the money I don't think it's worth it it's a decent enough little quad and if this were 55 quid I'd recommend it now, I didn't pay a hundred for it. I bought this in the flash sale at Banggood about three weeks ago for 52 quid. So, I, I don't think I, I've done that bad. But it's now a hundred. So, but it's not something I'll keep. I'll, I'll end up selling this for what I paid for it, to be fair. Because it's just, it's not for me. Would it make a great beginner's quad? Probably, yeah. But, like I say, I think there's better for your money. But for £52, if you can get it on the flash sale, definitely worth having a go. So, like I say, if I can get some flight footage up, I will and I'll try and insert it in this video. If not, I'll make another video um, in the future. So, thanks for watching, have a fantastic day and get some flying done. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.